students, welcome to another exciting time on the Psychologist NG TV with me, Dr. Blessing Ntamu. Merry Christmas to you. Today I bring you glad tidings of love, of joy, and uh, rebirth, okay, of a new birth. I hope you're preparing to have a fantastic uh, Christmas celebration. Today we are going to be discussing the attribution theory of motivation. The attribution theory of motivation. Generally, human beings always try to give an explanation for everything that happens to them. You know, people like to explain away everything that happens to them. And it is the same for students. Students find a way to explain their success or lack of it whilst in the learning situation. You know, so people attribute their success to different things and the attribution theory of motivation simply talks about the factors to which students attribute their success. What are the factors to which students attribute their, their success and how does their attribution to these different factors affect their motivation to study and to work hard towards success. According to Werner 1986, there are three basic dimensions to which students attribute their success. The first one is the location of causality, which can be either internal or external. And for the factors related to uh, internal location of causality, you have the efforts and the ability of the individual internal factors. Now, when they talk about the external factors, they talk about things such as luck, you know, and when it comes to stability, the stable factors are factors such as the ability of the student and the tax difficulty while the unstable factors deal with the type of task. And then we also have the third dimension, which is the dimension of controllability. You have controllable and uncontrollable factors. And for the controllable factors, you have again the effort of the student. And then for the uncontrollable, uncontrollable factors, you have uh, factors such as the mood of the teacher. Now, the dimension to which students attribute their success affects their ability you know when you talk about the internal factors location of causality that ties with uh, the locus of control theory proposed by uh, rota in 1966 which it says when people have an internal locus of control they take responsibility for their actions they attribute their success in this instance to factors that are controllable and that makes them you know to work hard towards success and they end up achieving success now, when they attribute their success to external factors, factors that are without their control, out of their control, it makes them not to work towards success, it makes them not to take responsibility, and they do not excel. Upon 1993 also tried to explain this by saying that learners and students should try to attribute their success more to controllable factors, such as their efforts, such as their ability, and less to uncontro uncontrollable and external factors, such as luck and such as uh, uh, the type of tax and all of this. Because when they attribute their success to uncontrollable factors, it leads to a feeling of helplessness. When they feel helpless, it saps their energies, it saps them of their cognitive energy, of their um, affective energies and all of that. And then makes them less motivated towards working towards success. So as much as possible, students should attribute their success to internal factors, such as the effort that they put into working, such as, you know, the tax difficulty and all of this. And when they attribute the success to controllable factors like their own ability, like their effort, they can work hard and achieve success. Students should avoid as much as possible attributing their success to uncontrollable factors such as luck. I mean, there really is no such thing as luck. People who excel have worked hard to excel. And those who do not work hard do not excel. If you talk about the grace of God, I would understand that because I understand his grace and his help, but not luck, certainly not luck. So let's forget about luck. Let's attribute our success to our efforts and our ability. Let's try to upskill, gain more skills. Let's work hard towards success and we'll find ourselves excelling. So that is the attribution theory of motivation in, um, in summary. And so the next one we're going to do in our next video is personality theories. Uh, I hope that 
you are enjoying your lecture so far for those of you that are yet to subscribe to this channel please do so immediately as you're going to have lots of videos coming to you during the holidays and ensure that you study these videos that you take down your notes that you go ahead and research more on this topic and gather more knowledge that you put in all the effort required so that you can excel in this course remember if you attribute your success to efforts you're likely to be more motivated to work hard as your efforts will be rewarded with success and if you attribute it to external factors that are uncontrollable remember it will make you to have a feeling of helplessness and that will sap your cognitive and affective and other you know energies and make you leave you with less energy to work towards success it will sap you of your motivation to work hard and succeed i wish you um a very merry christmas once again enjoy